You ready? Come on. Work day today. We finna get some work in today. Let's get this work today. Let's get better. <laughs> Quick feet. Quick feet. <laughs> Stay low. Pedal. Break. Go. Dig. 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 There you go. All day. Handshake. All three of Texas is it's home. The state of Texas is my home, man. And I don't think you'll find a guy who loves the state of Texas more than me. That was the biggest thing for me coming to Houston is this is peace right here. And I'm at my comfort zone, man, and I'm at my most peaceful state of mind when I'm home. What's up, mama? Hey, honey. You done made it to the spotlight, huh? Mm. How you doing? I'm good, baby. How are you? How are you? Then this one, this, you know, this one that went with the on me. And right there, um, they go him and his brother Marcel. I said, this is his sign day. He's at Kimber. You're going to be signing day right here. Right now, man, we at Kimball High School. This is where I truly evolved into the football player that I am today. A lot of tour days, a lot of memories. There's so much blood, sweat, and tears literally on this field right here. I mean, for years, it literally all started right here. Surreal is not even a word. When you sit here and think about, I graduated high school in 2008, and for me to look back and say, so I remember the bonds and the friendships, it just bring you memories because it's like, I mean, I love the city so much, man. I, this is this is what this is what made me. This has made made me who I am. that we do of. So ever since he's been in college, every morning before the game, me and him talk. Maybe about 30 minutes at 30, 45 minutes, something depending on how deep the conversation. We don't talk is. about no sports, we just no. talk about life. life. Funny things have with his brother. Just get my mind off of what's yes. gonna happen. Up away from the heat. Pass picked off. And it is Gibson. Intercepted by Gibson. My mom always used to say, man, I wish you would just stop playing and just come home. I remember saying, like, man, I'm coming home. And it just was one of those feelings where it's just like, I can't believe that this is actually happening. Houston and Dallas, they say it's different, but I mean, like, you three hours up the way, like, you pretty much at home, man, and you can ask for a better situation than that. So this wall right here, pretty much, you know, it just, it's sentimental, man, it mean a lot. When I sit there and I think about it, man, even looking at it kind of give me chills because it's just one of those situations where, man, I never would have panned out that my career would have took off the way that it had. Given that number 39, I hated it when I first got it. They gave me that number, man. I was like, what the hell is this, number 39? Like, I really did, and it grew on me, man, and it, it grew to be a part of who I am, man, to this day. And I knew that when I was a dad that I wanted to be more hands-on and I wanted to be just kind of like, you know, give my son every opportunity in life to achieve everything. And my dad was, he used to call it constructive criticism. And as a kid, you look at it, it's just like, it's negative. Like, you don't, you don't realistically think it's, but man, all of these life values that my pops instilled in us, man, that we still use to this day, it's pretty crazy. It's just like, dang, like, you know, this is what pops was talking about. I like that rep. That's probably your best rep today. You look smooth. My focus is just making sure that they live and enjoy their best life possible. That's what I want to give my kids, man. And I've been fortunate enough that I've been able to do that, just that for my children. And you know, it's just an exciting time for us. It's definitely an exciting time.